house hunting in Lagos is the real ghetto. This one's going to stress you. Lagos is overrated, true or false? I mean, it's about time to pay house rent, and I'm calculating in my head this amount that I'm going to spend for just this apartment that I have. That is not even worth anything. House I know what it will afford me if I was in Port Harcourt. Even if I pay for an accommodation, 3.5 million, it should actually be worth that worth money. 3.5 mm. million naira is not change. 3.5 million naira with dirty water. Exactly. <laughs> it should be worth wow. it. And that one is my wow. slice bill. Like that one is like my slice bill and water bill. That's 3.5 million. And I think why Lagos State is more expensive, for example, people rushing to stay on the island, is because of the traffic. If How much be like if it's one? Right? Hey. Ask them. <laughs> like if it's one. Okay, four to six. Four to six four to million. Six. Three yeah. point, three hey! point. Hey! Hi my loves, welcome back to the channel. Wow, what an arrival. One year later and I am house hunting again. Who would have thought? Even I am shocked. In case you've been wondering why I haven't been posting consistently as promised, this is one of those reasons. I know I owe it to my subscribers and people who genuinely enjoy my content to be consistent and for that reason, I apologize sincerely. Anyways, we are back to regular programming. If you're just clicking on my video for the very first time, hi and welcome. You're very much invited to join the Soft Life family. It's good vibes over here, I promise. You can even ask around. <laughs> Click that subscribe button, okay? But if you're a returning subscriber, hi my love. I see you. Thank you for being a real one. So right off the bat, I'm not going to be saying too much in this vlog. I'm just going to be saying enough and the necessary things I feel like I need to add in this voiceover, okay? So this was the first apartment we're taking. So the apartment was going for 1 million for the rent, 1.4 million total package. The first thing that gave me the ick about this apartment was the marcation on the wall. I'm very sure you guys saw that. It wasn't looking pretty. Like It was looking like an old house. Where, let me just say family house. And... I don't want something that looks like that. I want something that looks clean, new, and you know, just nice. So that was like my first red flag. And then these wooden doors, you guys, if you've watched my previous house hunting vlog, you'll know that I do not like these wooden doors, the look, like I just don't like it. And I feel like this is a personal preference. So nobody should come for me, okay? So that was my number two E. Moving on, I went about to check the room. Yeah. And um, <laughs> we figured out that one of the rooms didn't have a wardrobe. Why the other one had a wardrobe? There's no wardrobe. By the way, I didn't, I'm not sure I mentioned, but yeah, we're looking for two bedroom apartments, okay? So dark? when I spotted that, I didn't even notice it at first. It was my friend who saw it and she pointed it out to me. I was just like, okay, bro, what was the reason? What was the reason? I saw an insect. Yes, that's, that's what I told him. It looks smaller. What does that mean you have with me? Oh my god. I'm crying. Hey, but how long has someone lived here? I swear. How long have they lived here? As you guys can clearly see, this kitchen was nothing to write home about. It wasn't it at all. And if you know Lagos landlords, you'd know that they wouldn't do anything about it. Mm. <laughs> Did I mention that I was sick while doing all of this? This is the second house hunting in two years and in the last one, I remember also falling sick. Wonderful. So this was the second apartment we were taking to and to be honest, I really do not enjoy climbing staircases for anything. Like I'm fine on the ground floor, but apparently the apartments they were showing were either on the second or third floor. That's the kitchen. 
Yeah. One thing about this kitchen that really pissed me off was these towels. Like, what are these? Make it make sense. They were throwing me off so bad. And then the cupboard were too high up, and the ones at the bottom were just infused into like hey, it was just a like, lot. Thank for that the room is bright. This this is like a selling point for me. I hate this door. I hate this. I hate this wardrobe. Did you have to put where am I supposed to shop? There, here. Mm -hmm. Wow. That's a lot to take in. So we left this place and headed out to inspect another apartment with another agent this time around because we honestly weren't feeling that apartment. So this was the third apartment we went to inspect for the day and to be honest this agent was basically selling those dreams because tell me why he went on and on about how the places he had to show us because he did show us from i think three apartments he went on and on about how they were so great and how we would love them and how they were within our budget they were within our budget to be very honest but they weren't as good as what we're seeing in the pictures and videos so that's why it's important you go and look at the houses that agents send so you don't just assume and pay when they send you a picture or video go and see for yourself because you might be shocked because we were shocked in case you're not subscribed to the channel already please hit the subscribe button please like this video as well so that youtube can push out my videos to more audience thank you that's that's my flash is not doing anything. Okay. So this is so from the exterior of this house we could already tell that the interior of the apartment was going to be small as well there was little or no space in the rooms and it was such a bummer because the space is actually newly built everything looks new fresh nice but the space was such an issue in case you're wondering why is nina moving out of her place in just a space of one year well the truth is i have outgrown that space and um, it's very easy for me to outgrow something when it no longer serves me and that was the case for me that space was just too small i wasn't able to do the things i wanted to do to the maximum or to my highest potential because i was always limited by space and like it's very important for me as a creative just as a person for my environment to motivate me and if i'm not getting that best believe i'll try and do everything in my power to change it and that's what motivated this move this house hunting so yeah what's the most this one no Honestly, I'll never understand why toilets and bathroom spaces have to be this small in Lagos. Please make it make sense. And then you guys look at this kitchen size. What in the miniature size kitchen is this? It's so alarming. It's so nerve wracking. Why would they make a kitchen this small? Two people can't even fit into this kitchen and work together. It's so, so annoying. What is this? What is this? 
Why the elevation? <laughs> I said from this kitchen, I will never want to cook. Huh. More reason. Yeah, mommy. You will try. That's why they put this thing for you here. Yeah, So we put your gas. So the crazy thing about this house is they were not fully done building it. They were just finished with the ground floor, as you guys could see. I don't know if you guys missed it, but they just built the down floor and they were already giving it out for rent. And this place is so small. This particular apartment was at the back of the house, basically. So um, the rent was cheaper than um the house in front the apartment in front if that makes sense just because this one was behind and this one was obviously smaller than the apartment in front <laughs> I promise you, if you're plus size, they didn't build this apartment with you in mind. It's still not saying it's smaller. What is this demarcation for? Oh. Hmm? What's the difference between this one and the other one? As in, we. I will try this one. This one. You are just. This one, you are just like. You are inside the compound. For this one, you can use your one You can use your this thing here. Mm. And that's it. Mm. What is the first one that come and put a small? Uh -uh. Everybody wants people like brand new house. Let me tell you the truth. Who does? I can show you one or two. Just get to the first. What that does? editing this vlog i found this video on my phone and apparently this is a video from an agent we contacted for an apartment although we didn't physically go to inspect this apartment and i'll just give you guys this tip for free like i normally would to avoid unnecessary stress when you're house hunting know what you want and do your own research go on websites that have listing of houses Niger Property Pro is one that I'll absolutely recommend. They have so many listings of apartments depending on what you want, your location, your budget, type of apartments and all of that. 
some of these agents they are ready to take you around just to stress you and you still end up not finding what you like i see some people say they look for apartments for like three six months and i'm honestly baffled every time i hear such the maximum i've had to search for an apartment is one month anyways i hope this helps wow white spacious Bathroom. What is this? Yeah, yeah. This one almost done. Okay, this, this one is done, so. You can take smaller than that one. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. I can't really imagine this figure. Understand. But I like the ventilation door. Oh, I like this door. It's different. I like the handle. Oh god, this thing. This door puts me off. That puts me off way more than this. Like, why? Why would you? Like, see the wardrobe is nice. The hand. The, then. It just put this. The cutting cost. Mm-hmm. It's too pretty. Ugh. I really like this door. Fancy seeing you here. Huh? What did you say? Just for rent, yes. Yeah. Then get which other, which, which other side selling the charges? The charge is now, my loves we've come to the very end of this video please ensure you like share and subscribe i'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>